Hello, my name is Mr. Reed. I'm originally from Cedar Park, Texas, which is in the North Austin area. I went to Vista Ridge High School and Henry Middle School, so I began playing the saxophone when I was in sixth grade. Now, I was always interested in band, and I had a great time playing with my peers and making music and performing that for our parents and for anyone who wanted to hear. So throughout my middle school and high school life, I loved band, but it was not something that I thought I could ever do as a career. I had never made a region band or all state or anything like that until my senior year of high school. And so to me, I didn't think I was that good. I didn't think I was good enough to get into a music school, to get into a university or to teach music for the rest of my life. But when I was in high school, I was also a section leader in, in the marching band, as well as a woodman captain. So I had experience with coaching peers and teaching people about music. So it was something that I was able to do, but it wasn't what I thought I could do. So originally I was gonna, I was really interested in computers, so I was gonna go to Texas A&M in engineering. And I was set to go, and that was what I was gonna do for my career. But then stepped in my private lesson teacher, who was, his name was Mr. Billy McPhail, all right? He told me, you should at least apply and audition to a few music schools and see what happens to give yourself some options. And I thought, I'm not that good. I will never get into a music school, but I took his advice. He believed in me. He thought I could do better. And so I tried. And I went and I applied and auditioned at four or five different universities. And lo and behold, to my surprise, I got into all of them. And so now I had options. Not only did I have options, but I was also very inspired. And I had found courage inside myself that I didn't know existed in my playing. So from there on, I decided, you know what? I've been playing for seven years already. I might as well keep playing saxophone and teaching people music. So it came down to which college I wanted to decide to go to. Luckily enough, the professor here at Texas State, Dr. Oxford, he's the main saxophone professor. He happens to be good friends and an undergraduate colleague of my private lesson teacher, Mr. Billy McPhail. So these two have the same way of playing, the same pedagogy or style of playing the saxophone. So to me, it was the most logical option to come here to Texas State and continue my schooling. I wouldn't have to change anything. I would just keep playing saxophone the way I've learned to play it. So that's exactly what I did. I came to Texas State. When I came here, I knew two people. One was someone older than me, who happened to be a music major as well. And the other was a friend that I had in high school who I wasn't that close with, but he was the only other person that I knew who came to Texas State. So for me, I knew I would have to build new friendships, build new relationships. And luckily enough, that was way easier than I thought it would be. The people, the professors, and just the natives of San Marcos are all wonderful people. They're friendly, they're kind, and they want to help you succeed. And so I found academic success throughout my time here at Texas State. I've learned things that I never even thought about throughout my whole life. I've built relationships with my colleagues and my professors that are going to help me in the long run. I've learned three main things as well to find academic success. To show up on class on time and prepared, to stay focused throughout the lecture, and overall to have a positive attitude. And with those three things, you will find success. And that's all I have to say about that. Thank you.